Okay, so this is my kitchen set up in my old grand. So I've got cupboard space for all food and stuff. Um, side just here, I've got my fridge. Just got the bag sitting in there so it doesn't go moldy while it's in the car, while it's not on. I've got this fold down table extension bit off the kitchen for my cooker. So it is it's far away, so the heat from the inside of the car. This here is for my water. That just goes down and into like a drum that I put on the ground, like the 20 liters. Um, and then I just stick that back up in here so it is out of the way when I swing the cupboard in and out. Um, and that's, yeah, the top end of my hose. I have it longer, so if I needed to wash one of my kids, um, I can. Um, and then that's just the on-off switch for the water. I've got my solar controller on the back of the kitchen here so I can read all the solar when the kitchen's folded in easily and also when it's out. I've also got this here, this is a plug here for plugging into another solar panel. I do have one on the roof uh, in between my sunroofs, um, but this also allows me to plug in a separate one if I did want to park the van in the shade and solar panel out in the sun in summer. And then we go down into here got my inverter here so if I need to charge my laptop or anything. Um, the fridge here is running off the, the battery I've got in the back just under here. I want to get a secondary battery and put it on that side. Um, yeah so then this charges the fridge or well, runs the fridge charges the phone. This one here is the car one so when I am uh, driving the car on long distances I could plug the fridge in here so it runs off the front battery but I have now rigged up this battery to charge while the car's driving as well so I don't really swap it over anymore. Um, here's all my fuse boxes so anything blows, if it blows the fuse before it does anything to the car. I'll show you the solar panel on the top. Oop, stop throwing rocks boys. Cheeky monkeys. So then you climb up onto the roof like so to get to my rooftop tent which is what I do all the time to undo it go across and there's my flexi solar panel here in between my two sunroofs so I can still use them. I did have a bigger panel on my previous old grand but I went and bought this um, thinner one to fit in between the sunroofs because my other one didn't have a sunroof so I could do the whole thing. Um, this panel though actually is 300 watts, my other one was only 250 so this one's slightly bigger um, even though it is smaller, it's more powerful. Yeah, so that's my, that's my setup, my rig. I do, however, still want to get another awning, a little one, just for this little side here, um, so I can have an outside shower, shower tent for my toilet and shower, um, and I want to get a roof basket that goes all the way along and under here, so I can put the tent, I can put my chairs and all that extra stuff on the roof. I know it's going to cover the solar panel, but it's fine on the way there because the car is going to charge the battery. And once you get there, you take all that stuff off the basket. We'll be covered a little bit by the basket, but we'll still get plenty of solar. So yeah, that's my future endeavors. <laughs> the kitchen all swung back in. And then I just use this here to line it up. And then that just locks it in place so it ain't going anywhere because the battery box underneath is screwed to the bottom of the van. So it's sturdy as. Moment is reading 13.4 and it also has these USB ports here to charge stuff as well if needed. Yeah, you can see the easy access to all this stuff here if I need to plug in. I've got lights all around these ones here, so I've got this one here, which is good that lights up all the back of the van. Um, I've also got one over there that lights up all outside my awning when I'm set up outside. Um, and then I also have this one here on the back for my kitchen when it is swung out, it lights it all up. I'll show you a photo of things here at night. Last camping trip. I also put in the bottom of this El Grand um, really bright reversing lights. Um, when I'm reversing back, so if I'm reversing up to a trailer at night or anything like that, you can just see straight out the back really well front the bull bar. I've got spotlights all on it so I've got this huge big one on the top 
um, and then I got these two smaller ones on the side. Um, I've angled those outwards so they actually shine out um, for bushes and stuff that you're going to be close to and that one just shines all forward um, to help with night time driving in bushy areas or off-roading or just even down a dark road and it's wired up to like your fog light thing on the stick because um, yeah it's wired these ones up into the original fog lights that were on the El Grand bar down the bottom 